Good morning. This is a Zoom Strength and Balance class with me, Hannah. Welcome, everybody. Um, you will need some small, small pieces of equipment. So some weights are going to be the main ones. These are a three pound set of dumbbells. You can use a two, three or a five. That would be the most appropriate weights. Um, you'll need some space to work. I have a yoga mat, um, which I find comfortable to stand on. And then a chair. Some of our exercises will be seated and uh, you'll want that chair to help support you when we do the balance exercises. There will be two exercises at the end of the strength um, portion of the class that are that take place on the floor. Um, if you're not comfortable being on the floor, no problem. I will give you um, a seated option as well. So um, no pressure there. If, um, if you're thinking attempting those four exercises please be um please make sure you're able to get up and down off the floor that you either have somebody there to help you or that you are confident that you could do it um alone with no trouble i'll give lots of time to get up and down um jump in with any questions anytime you like and uh i guess we should warm up to start with or you'll also need some water really important have a sip. i've talked a lot already <laughs> All right, let's stand up and we'll warm up here. All right, let's stand up nice and tall and we're going to move our feet. Oh, someone to sit. I was just brushing my teeth right before the class started and I leaned against the sink, which is like this height. And I guess it was wet. So now this part of my shorts is wet. Um, hopefully that's not too noticeable on the camera. Uh, but if it is, you know what it is now. <laughs> so we'll start by just moving our feet, moving those arms forwards and backwards. Nice and easy. And let's take those shoulders, bring them up towards your ears and relax them down. Let's do a couple of these. Great, let's roll our shoulders, nice big circles. And back in the other direction. Nice big circles, nice and slow. Let's bring these arms out to the side and we'll make little circles with our hands. And back in the other direction yet again. All right, let's make those circles bigger here, reaching forwards one arm at a time. We're going to go backwards with our arms. Nice and slow, really working those shoulders. Good, keep those feet going and pick up our hands, press those hands away, pull them back. Press and pull, press, pull back, press, pull back, press, pull back. Let's keep those hands up overhead, pull and down. Push and pull, push, and pull, push up, pull down. Good. We're going to take those feet out of our hip width apart slowly, nice and easy. Circle those hips. Let's go in the other direction. Do a little more hip moving here. Um, you'll want to be close to something to hold on to because you're going to take one foot off the floor at a time. Pick up that one knee out to the side, step down, pick it up, back in, and down. Good. Another one. Out and down, up, back in, down. Back to that second, uh, over to the second side now. Up, out, and down. Yes. 
and uh, up, out, down, up, back in, and out. I don't know if you can do Okay, well, let's see some skills. All right, let's take one more. We're going to touch on scales. Yeah. I'm not sure so, heel, so, heel, so, heel, pressing a mid million buttons. Let go. Okay, well, I don't know what to do. Well, why do you have that? Can you not shout at me? Yeah, fine, but the battery's flat when you go, that's too bad. So, heel, so, Heel, did I say go to the other foot? Sorry. <laughs> so, heel, so, heel, good. In a pedal of heels, up onto one toe and then the other. One arm and the other. One arm, the other. One arm, the other. And let's bend at the other, bring those hands up. Press them back. Bend and press. Bend, press, bend, press, bend, press, bend, press. Good. Let's tap our toes. Heels in contact with the floor. Tap those toes. Wriggle your toes inside your shoes if you can. If you're wearing shoes, circle our wrists. Yeah. Back in the other direction. We're going to tap our fingers to thumb. And then open and close those hands. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch. Squeeze. Good. Take a big inhale here. Reach those arms up. And exhale, good. One more. Nice big stretch up and down. All right, let's begin. We're going to grab one weight and we're going to do a squat or a sit to stand, um, depending on um, your level of comfort here. A sit to stand is going to look like this. You'll hold that weight um, in your hands nice and gently, or uh, like a nice loose grip. You'll sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. People who are standing, if you want to take that option, let's have our feet hip width apart. We're going to begin right away here. Hold that weight at your chest and we'll squat down. Stand up, good. Nice and slow on the way down. Big exhale as we stand. One more. Good. Let's hold that, keep hold of that one weight. And we're going to stand with our feet. I'll stand this way to show you. Stand with our feet about hip width apart, soft knees. We're going to hinge up the hip. Stand up, squeeze your bum as you exhale. Nice and slow on the way down. Exhale up. Really think about sticking that bum out behind you. Give me that nice flat back. We'll do one more. Very good. Let's hold onto that weight again. Standing nice and tall. Weight is at your chest. I'm going to pick up one knee and the other. Good. Okay, nice and slowly. Trying to place those feet down slowly. Good. 
One more on each side. Good, very good. All right, let's, oh, I know I can smell terrible. Let's uh, <laughs> do a squat, go back to this squat. Have a quick drink here. So stick to stand if that feels better for you. Otherwise, holding that weight, let's go right into those squats. Take that bum down. Big exhale, squeeze through those glute muscles. So squeeze that bum as you stand up. One more. Good. Let's, uh, I'll turn this way. We're going to do that hip hinge. So think about having soft knees that will hinge at the hip. So sticking that bum out behind you, bringing that chest towards the floor. Keep those knees soft. So a little bend in those knees. So really think about how this movement is in your hips rather than your knees. One more. Good. All right. Stand up nice and tall again, holding that weight at your chest, and let's pick up those knees. Nice slow knee raises. Whoops, <laughs> wobbly. And one more on each side. One and two. Very good. All right, let's have a quick drink. But we're going to pick up both weights um, as we move to some upper body work. We'll start with bicep curls, but we want to make them a little bit more challenging. Um, <laughs> you're going to take one foot, so it's my right foot to start with, and you're going to hold that so just your toes on the ground. So we're changing our stance. We're a little more wobbly um, with that one foot on the floor. And you have to really think about engaging those core muscles. So pulling that belly button in towards your spine to keep yourself level here. And then we'll go one, two, and one, and two, and then both together. One, two, three, nice and slow on the way down, four, and the last one is five. Good, and now switch to the other foot, that toe is up. So we're, um, we're challenging that balance. Keep, think about keeping that chest nice and, ow, ow, chest nice and tall, um, keeping that core engaged. So we'll go in one, two, one, two, and then five with both those arms together. One, two, Three, four, and five. Great. Pop down one weight for now. We're going to take this one weight, so it's in my left hand. I'm going to hold it at my right hip. And then I'm going to draw that weight right across my body and slowly back down into that place position. Standing up nice and tall. Big exhale as you stretch that arm across. Let's do two more. Here's one. And two. Very good. Let's switch to the other side. Arm across your, bring that hand to the opposite hip. 
stretch that arm right up. So like you were putting on a seatbelt or drawing your sword. Two more. Here's one. And two. Good. Pick up that second weight. We're going to take those elbows up, um, up nice and high. Upper arms are parallel with the floor. Hands are about head level. We're going to press one hand to the ceiling, then the other. And now both together for one, two, three, and four. And I'll do one at a time. One and two, and then both for four. Three, two, and one. Good, lower those hands. Pop those weights down for a minute. Shake, shake our arms out, and then we'll pick them up again. <laughs> and we'll do back those bicep curls. So one foot with our toe just touching the floor. So we have a little challenge with that balance. Pull that belly button towards your spine. Now let's go one hand, the other, one, the other. Now both for five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Let's switch our feet around so the other toe is up. Now let's go one, two, one, two, and five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Let's take one weight, bring it to your opposite hip, and stretch your tongue. Right across your body. Think about keeping that core engaged. So pulling that belly button in towards your spine. We'll do two more. One. And two. Let's switch to the other side. One, two, nice and slow, especially on that way down. Three is four, then give a full extension of your arm. And five. Great. Let's grab that second weight. Bring those hands up to around your head, around that level. The upper arm is parallel with the floor and our elbows are up. Let's press one hand and then the other. And now we'll go both for four and three and two and then one. Good. Now one and two and then one. Two, three, and four. Very good. All right, relax so far. Have a quick drink here, and then we will do those floor exercises um, that will be seated um, modifications available as well. All right, if you are going to be seated, then uh, listen up, because these two are for you. Honestly, I think seated is the safer option today with these dogs. So to start with, we're going to stretch our... Sorry, let me move so you can see So to start with, seated people, you're going to stretch that leg out. I'm going to lift and lower. Just like this. That's exercise number one, a uh, leg extension and lift. 
Number two, we're going to sit up nice and tall. You're going to hinge forward at the hips and lean back towards that chair. So hinge forwards and backwards. So you have a seated lay back. Is your second exercise leg extensions and a lay back. If you're on the floor, come down now to the floor and uh, we'll, we'll just begin with. So down to the floor, feet are flat on the floor as we lay back here. Let's pick those feet up. No, sorry, we're gonna keep our feet flat on the floor today. Feet flat on the floor. And if you're seated, you can go ahead with those extensions, those leg extensions. People on the floor, we're gonna slide that heel out and in. Slide that heel out and away from me, bring it back in, good. Yeah. All right, people who are on the Okay, if you're seated, um, go ahead and you're going to do those laybacks. If you're on the floor, um, stay with me. This honestly, nobody here. Okay, no, there's no one here. There is someone here. All right, this is someone. I'm so sorry. No, right. <laughs> there was someone here dropping off something. I'm just going to grab my dogs. Stay tuned. Dogs, come here. Yeah. Yeah, go in the house. All right, we're back. Uh, on the floor, if you're on the floor, if you're seated and you're still doing those laybacks, well done. You can take a break when if you need to. Otherwise, begin those right now. Um, people on the floor, we're going to lay down. Feet are flat on the floor. You're going to push down with your feet. Lift your hips up off the floor, slowly lower down. Push over this feet, lift those hips, squeeze the bum here, relax down. Good, nice and slow as we lower down. Let's do two more. Here's one. And two. All right, great. Let's stay on the floor, people on the floor. and um, People on who are seated, you can go ahead and do this leg extension. So stretching one leg out and lifting and then the other. People on the floor, let's slide that heel away from you and then slowly back to center. Good. Nice and slowly, moving that foot away, and back in. And one more on each side. Good. All right, if you're seated now, go ahead into the leg backs on the floor. Let's push your feet down into the ground, lift those hips. Slowly lower down. So your shoulders stay where they are. We're just lifting those hips up, slowly lowering. Good. 
big exhale as we lift those hips out. Nobody can see me. Let's do two more. All right, good. Relax there. If you're on the floor, let's walk those feet to one side of the mat. Roll those knees to the other side. Put yourself onto your side. Use his arms to push yourself up. Nice and slowly, and then we'll turn ourselves onto all fours. Bring yourself up to find my chair is here, so I'm going to use my chair to pull myself up. Bring that foot up, and then nice and slowly up to centre. Oh my gosh, every time I do an online class, it is like my nightmare that someone is going to come to the door. Um, and lo and behold, somebody came to the door. Uh, all right, let's... Uh, Let's have a drink. So apologies. <laughs> All right, feet flat on the floor. Standing up nice and tall, let's do some balance. Feet close together. Stand up here and let's think about a nice posture. Feet are pressing into the floor, nice tall chest, pull that belly button in towards your spine. And we're gonna raise one arm to the ceiling. Nice and slow, and then the other. Good, let's bring both arms up. And down. Bring those arms out to the sides. And then forwards. Get his palms up. And down, up, down, up, down, and up, and down. Good, relax. Let's step one foot now so it's directly in front of the other. I'm going to stand in this like staggered position. If you can't quite get those feet in line, take that front foot out to the side uh, just a little bit. Standing up nice and tall. Again, we're going to start by lifting one arm to the ceiling. And then the other arm. Good. Both arms. Exercise. So each one. And the other way. Back to center and relax. Good. Switch those feet around so the other one is forward. So remember, you can take that front foot out to the side a little bit if you can't be directly in line. That's okay. Standing up to scroll here. And reach one arm. And the other. Both arms now. Bring them out to the side. Or reach one forward, one back. On the other way, one forward, one backwards. Don't be leaving me. Good, back to center, relax his arms. Very good. Stand up facing me, and we're going to step one foot forwards. We're going to shift that weight into that front foot and to that back foot. Standing up tall, shoulders are relaxed. Forwards. 
forwards, down backwards, forwards, down backwards, forwards, and backwards. As you come forwards this time, let's take that back foot up off the floor. It's a couple of inches. And as you step back, let's take that front foot up off the floor. Good, hold it there. And we'll switch the other way forwards. And backwards. Good, let's switch our feet around so the other foot goes forwards now. And we're gonna shift that weight forwards. And backwards. Forwards. And backwards. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards. And backwards. As you come forwards, now take that back foot up off the floor. And as you step back, lift that front foot. Again, the other way, forwards, lift that back foot, and step back, lift that front foot up. Good, relax those feet. All right, we're going to take the weight onto one foot, and nice and easy, we're just gonna hold, hold ourselves on one foot here. So I'm gonna take the weight onto my right leg, take that left foot up to my toes, touching the floor still, and then when you're ready, take that foot right off the floor, right off the floor, and we're not going to do anything strange with our hands or anything like that, or look around, we're just going to stand up nice and tall, keeping those shoulders relaxed, looking up and ahead, pressing that one foot into the floor. Staying nice and relaxed here, looking up and Finding something to focus on that isn't moving, that can help. Give you some deep breaths. Good, let's switch to the other side. Let's take the weight onto the other foot, bend that knee a little bit. Take this, uh, mm -hmm. take the second foot up to the toes, touching the floor, foot right up off the floor. When you're ready, if you can, and then we'll hold that here. All right, now relax. <laughs> well, you guys, you gotta do that right there, hey? Right there. Stop it. All right, one more, one more exercise. Let's, uh, let's tightrope walk. Heel to toe, standing up nice and tall, looking up and ahead. Heel to toe steps. I'd like to say, I like to put a positive spin on this, and I'd like to say that this and the chaos you see around me is proof that you can really get your get your exercise in under any circumstances. You don't have to have a lot of space. I'm working just within the space of a yoga mat. That's all I need. Um, you don't have to have peace and quiet. <laughs> that's definitely not happening here. You don't have to have um, fancy equipment. We've just used one set of weights. And you certainly don't need a block of, of time where you know there's going to be absolutely no disturbances. Um, it'd be very easy for me to have just stopped and said, oh, well, there's someone at the door, so now I'm done. Um, obviously, I can't when I'm teaching the class, but it was just as easy to jump back in. Um, 
the dogs are everywhere, the children need stuff always in the middle of the class. But you can you can get exercise in under any circumstances. There's no perfect situation. Cheers. So nice and slow, those heel to toe steps. Not trying to make this too complicated today. We're going to look up and away from our feet. All right, very good. Let's relax. Have a drink. We're going to stretch. Bring the arm across your body here. Switch to the other side. Okay, relax, let's link our fingers, press those hands away from your chest here. Stretching through that upper back. Hmm. We're going to sit down. And stretch that one foot forwards. So your heels touching the floor, your toes are pointing at the ceiling. We'll hinge at the hip here and feel that stretch through your hamstring. So that muscle at the back of your leg. Let's switch to the other side. Step that leg forward, and jump the hip here. Good, sit up nice and tall, and we're gonna bring those feet out nice and wide apart. Bring those toes out. Sitting up, we're gonna use our hands to press our knees open. Feel that stretch right in that inner thigh here. Good, take some deep breaths. Good, standing up. We're gonna finish with our last stretch standing. Let's bring those arms behind us. Stretch your fingers out. Looking up and ahead. Take a nice deep breath. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and let's take one big inhale. As you exhale, wrap those arms around yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, my back is sore. Um, thank you so much for joining in. I'm sorry about all the about all of it, about all the nonsense that went on here this morning. Um, hopefully, you still felt like you got something out of the class. Thank you, Hannah. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Anna. Great workout. Thank that's you. life. That's life for you. Yeah, this is, this is pretty usual for this hour. Yeah, it is. 
All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too.